all right guys welcome back in this video we are going to learn how to create multiple enemies and in the previous video we learned about how the collision system works so for example if we shoot the enemy is going to respawn to a new place as well as increase our score so how do we make sure that multiple enemies appear on a screen so for example six enemies so what we can do one idea is that we can store all of these six enemies in a list or an array but in python is called a list so we are going to store all of the enemies in a list and display them one by one on the screen but it's going to happen so fast that it will look that all the six enemies are appearing simultaneously on the screen so we are going to turn all of these variable into a list variable and how do you do that you simply copy the variable name and equal to and brackets so this signifies an empty list there is nothing inside this list and we are going to use a for loop to put values inside this list but we have to do it with all of the variables so let's do that so let's do it with enemy x and then enemy y so i'm just going to copy this copy this paste over here let me just copy everything first and then i'm going to add the square brackets not the neatest way but the quickest way and then i'm just going to copy all of these square brackets quickly all right and how do you add values inside a list so right now this is an empty list and how do you add values to a list is by using a method known as dot append so instead of equals to we are going to use dot append over here but even before that we are going to create a variable known as num of enemies which stands for number of enemies and we can change this variable whenever we want to increase the number of enemies so we are going to create a for loop for i in range and inside this we are going to put num of enemies so this loop for right now is going to run six times and six of our enemies are going to be created obviously you, we want all of these values to be added to the list that we have created of all the variables so what we are going to do instead of to equal to we are going to write dot append and this is going to add our current value inside our list so for example the first enemy image is going to be stored inside this enemy image list so we are going to do all of this with all of the variables and you don't need to do it with enemy y change because these are like constant values but we are going to just for the sake of simplicity we are going to do it with all of them all right so let me just do it with all of them i'm going to copy this dot append everywhere so just to do it quickly again not the neatest way but the quickest way and that is what we want just the quickest way and let me just add the brackets after everyone so that there are no errors and it looks neat all right guys so this is looking pretty well so whenever our code is going to run it's going to go through this and it's going to create six number of enemies but if you scroll down inside our while loop you can see that we don't specify which enemy x do we want to move so this is the code that we are using for the enemy to move towards the left hand side or the right hand side and the downward movement but if we don't specify which enemy x we are talking about because if you notice above we have declared six enemy x and because we have created a variable called as enemy x we have created an empty list so each time this for loop is going to run is going to enter a new value of enemy x inside this enemy x list so we need to make sure that our program understands which enemy x we are talking about so we are going to create another for loop over here and we are going to do the same thing that we did over there number of enemies and the idea is pretty intuitive you just need to change every value over here to a uh, basically inside a square bracket just specify which value you are talking about and this is a way to reference something inside a list obviously if you know list you probably already know about this so anyways we are going to do this we are going to i this i bracket everywhere so let me just copy and paste this everywhere so that our program knows which enemy y we are talking about which enemy y change we are talking about so let me just copy this everywhere all right this is looking pretty good and then we also need to make sure that a collision is also inside our enemy so we are going to copy all of this code from over here and we are going to place this inside our while loop because we need to make sure that we calculate the collision for every let me just paste this so you can see that over here that currently our collision is it's not inside our for loop but actually inside yeah it's actually inside our for loop but make sure that it's not inside this lf condition or the if condition otherwise it's not going to work a lot of people make this mistake that they don't paste the collision part correctly or don't paste anything properly so anyways after making sure that you have pasted this properly inside our for loop we are also going to change these uh, let me just press it here alt z we are going to make sure that our python program knows which enemy x coordinates we are talking about 
So let me just paste this over here. All right, so this is looking pretty good. We also need to make sure that we add I over here. So basically, wherever we are talking about the enemy or the collision, you need to make sure that our program knows which coordinate or which enemy we are talking about. And then the last thing we need to do is wherever we are calling the enemies, for example, over here, calling the enemy function, and this is where we're basically blitting the enemy. We also need to make sure that we add which image do we want to be blitted. So right now it's not specifying. So we are going to paste this inside our enemy for loop and make sure it's not post pasted inside the if condition, it's pasted inside our uh, loop. So indentations matter. And then we are going to send the value of i according with specifying which x and y coordinates do we want to be printed on the screen. So basically which enemy we are talking about. So if we go up to our enemy function over here, you can see we haven't specified the i value. So we need to specify the i value and also the which image enemy image do we want to draw. Obviously you must be thinking there is only one image, but actually there are six enemy images because we have created a list of enemy images too, as you can see over here. All right guys, so this is looking pretty good. I think almost all of the code is done. So let me just play it and then we'll figure out what we have to recap and if there are any errors, we can solve them. So let's play it and see if it works. All right, so this is looking pretty good. We have created our six enemies and when we shoot them. So let's try and shoot one of them. I'm such a bad player. All right, so when we are shooting them, our collision is also working. It's They are respawning. All right, so this is looking pretty good. So how is this game gonna end? Whenever one of these space invaders come and hit the bottom of the spaceship or basically hit the 480 Y axis, then we are gonna end the game. So we'll just keep shooting and increase the score. And right now there is no place where we are displaying the score. So in the next video, we are gonna make sure that we display the score on the left hand side top corner. So we'll be working on that in the next video.